integer division is something that you'll need for this next lab. Uh, now, if you're used to programming already, or you remember from uh, math, then you probably know that an integer is a whole number. Now, this concept of a whole number might not seem like too big of a thing. However, it really is something we could take advantage of in programming. Let me go and describe this. Let's say we had a variable, x. And we were going to say it equal to 14 divided by 5. And then we're going to print it out. Well, you know that that's probably like 2.8, right? It is? Yes, it is. Very good. All right, cool. So you know that that's 2.8. Now, let's do something a little different. We're going to do integer this time. I'm going to add a second slash here. When I do that, it's going to change into what's called integer division, and what's going to output is actually just 2. The reason for this... All right, the reason for this is integer division... Uh, takes whatever result we get and transforms it into a whole, a whole number. And it's not uh, the nearest whole number. You know, you're used to rounding, which is um, change to nearest whole number. It isn't that. Instead, it's what we call floor. Floor, which is where you change to... Um, uh, not exactly the nearest whole number, but the whole number below. Such that 2.2 would become 2, or 2.9 would become 2, or 2.99, or, you know, whatever. All of that becomes 2. It does what we call uh, truncate, which is to remove everything after, after the decimal. So, it, for instance, again, this one, it would just chop all this, this stuff off, and you're left with a 2. Perfect, right? Makes sense. So, yeah, those are really the, th the things you need to understand about that. Integer division is done with two slashes, and it turns whatever it is into a whole number. This is important for your word shift lab. Go ahead and check that lab out.